Hello everyone, my name is Arn and welcome back to another video. So today I'll be taking a look at set 76169, the Thor mech armor. So this is for set 7 and up and has uh, 139 pieces. It has one minifigure being that Thor minifigure and then of course the Thor mech. I think the box is quite nice. It's like a rainy landscape there in the back. Uh, there's just the rain and the thunder coming down, the lightning, uh, thunder, <laughs> the lightning coming down. Uh, you can see, uh, the Thor mech, the Thor minifigure, Mjolnir there, the Avengers logo, uh, the actual Avengers, uh, text there, Lego on the back, uh, picture that they use for all these, uh, just generic Lego Avengers sets. On the back, you can see, uh, the Thor minifigure out of the box, uh, you can see, uh, the Thor mech or I said out of the box, out of the mech, sorry. And something I didn't notice before, but it's pretty cool, Thor is on the rainbow bridge there, and you can see the, uh, uh, you can see Asgard in the background, I guess, but it's like the actual, uh, kingdom, the palace, uh, which is quite nice, uh, that's cool on the box, really nice, uh, detail there. And there is the Thor minifigure. So now I'll take a look at the mech. So here is the Thor mech armor. So this uh, set costs $14 Canadian. Uh, of course, as the one minifigure being Thor and released in uh, January of 2021. So compared to the other mechs, at least the ones I've built, this one seems to have some more stickers uh, in it, which I don't mind because it does add some more detail to the uh, mech. Uh, there's the stickers right up here, uh, the two stickers that uh, go on to like the uh, cape they have here. Um, other than that, there is this sticker uh, on each side there. This is a print right here. A and then the other stickers really just go to Mjolnir, where you have on these translucent one by two bricks, uh, a bunch of stickers there. They're the exact same sticker, at least I believe they're the exact same sticker, maybe with a few different details throughout them uh, for those. And then there's also this uh, sticker right here. One thing that's kind of odd on the Mjolnir build they have here is on one side they have a flat area and then the other side they have a studded area, which is a little odd there. Uh, so this is a bit more of one of the bulkier uh, mechs uh, that they've made. The bigger legs has a bit bigger arms compared to like the Spider-Man and the Miles Morales mech. Uh, the fingers, uh, joints, they can all move. You can give any character you want the finger. Uh, you can do whatever you want. You can point at someone. Hey, Cap, how's it going? Uh, you can move the arms. You can have Thor waving. Hi, Iron Man, how's it going? Uh, yeah, uh, it's quite posable, which is good. Uh, it makes a good toy. It seems to, uh, can't really, uh, break it, uh, too easily. Um, but this is for sure, uh, compared to, like, a play set even or just a display set this is for sure like a kid's set i i wouldn't suggest it as like a display set of course it's not really a display set um the one reason that i bought this set and i'm sure a lot others who really don't have any interest in playing with a thor mech is for that cool minifigure which the design the torso print uh, the face print is common in other generic Avengers set, but the different part is the helmet, which to me stuck out, and I, that's really why I wanted it. For One Piece, I, I spent $14 for this One Piece, really, I guess, one, two, three, four pieces, six pieces if you count the hands. <sighs> yeah, uh, there's a little clip right there for the, uh, smaller Mjolnir, uh, that, uh, the minifigure Thor holds, uh, the, coloring is nice. Uh, you have the red cape, uh, some dark blue throughout it, uh, black, uh, dark bluish gray, a bit of light bluish gray, some like silver, some gold, and some tan, dark tan throughout there. Which I think, even though it's quite a few colors, is a nice mix of colors, and I think it does, uh, for sure, uh, look like Thor. It, I see Thor in this mech, which is always a good thing. Uh, so now I'm gonna take a look at the actual Thor minifigure. So here is the Thor minifigure of this set. 
It is uh, the same outfit that they've used in the other Avengers sets. I believe he comes in the Helicarrier and he came like with a AIM bike set that had like Black Panther in it. Uh, he had a soft cape piece in that and uh, oh, this outfit also comes in the Advent Calendar. So that's another set you could get uh, this outfit in the year, but this is obviously the cheapest way in a $14 set. Of course, he just doesn't have that red cape. Um, so here is the minifigure. I think the outfit is really nice. Uh, it looks quite nice. Uh, the mix of the gunmetal gray and the lighter silver is really nice. The black hands is nice. The Mjolnir piece, of course, one thing I'd love to see them do is having like a brown leather-like uh, handle. It would be cool. Maybe not adding any details, like some lines throughout it, but just a brown handle. Uh, and that would be really nice, and maybe changing that to the silver piece instead of the light bluish gray would be cool. Uh, the helmet is really cool. This appeared in a couple sets uh, for the Ragnarok wave, but I believe it was in a darker gunmetal gray color. So I think this might be the first time we've got this in silver, which for me is the reason I bought this set. I really want this helmet. Ragnarok is one of my films, and I favorite MCU films, and I don't have... Any of the Ragnarok sets, I for sure want to get that Hulk Arena set with Grandmaster, Loki, Hulk, and Thor. And I believe there's a Sakarian, uh, like, armory type guy in there as well. Uh, there's, it looks like, I guess you can just hear, it's not too bad, it wraps around there. But I feel like this is meant to be where the cape would connect, which is a little odd, but it's because you have that back printing there, it doesn't look too bad. It just looks like it wraps around. Uh, no leg printing, which I don't know what you would have for leg printing here, which is like some minifigures, you just, I don't know what they would put. Like, Sure, you can have a bit of detailing, but there's not that much you can do, so I'm totally fine with no leg printing. Uh, here's one face print, a very common Thor face print that you see that's very similar to uh, most Thor minifigures. The beard might be a little different, or the expression, but the eyes are very similar. Um, there's the other expression right there, which is a nice one. I think it captures Thor pretty well. The only thing this set doesn't have, which I believe the Captain America mech did, was gave a hairpiece for Steve Rogers. Well, I really wish this one did, because I like that color of the long hairpiece. And I don't have one, uh, so uh, I would have for sure liked to see uh, that hairpiece included, or the short one like they have in the uh, in the um, advent calendar, which really reminds me of the Ragnarok uh, hair, of course, after it's cut by Stanley's cameo in that movie. Uh, so now I'll just go to my final thoughts on this set. So that was my review of the Thor mech armor. Uh, I think this is a good set. I think the mechs generally are a good way to get many uh, good minifigures like the Thor and uh, like the Miles Morales and like the Captain America, even though you can get that Miles Morales and the Bugle. But of course, $400, $14, big difference there. Um, so the minifigure is really nice and is the reason why I bought this set. I really like the helmet and the whole design of this Thor minifigure. Probably one of my favorite Thors in my collection. Maybe even my favorite. Uh, the um, mech is nice. I'm not totally into like mechs. I would prefer just play sets. Uh, and getting one minifigure, I think... Uh, yeah, I do think these are better than, like, say, the Mighty Micros... Uh, because I really don't like that stylized uh, figures too much, uh, and I like just these normal minifigures. So if they continue to do these where we could get three each year and some cool exclusive or close to exclusive minifigures, I would be happy with it. Um, I think this is a good play set for younger LEGO builders. Um, it's a very simple set to put together. Uh, the uh, sticker placement also very easy. Uh, it's very poseable, which is always something you want in a mech, and it doesn't seem to really break apart too easily, of course, unless you tore it apart. Uh, but for sure, the minifigure is really good, and I would suggest this set, if you don't have this style of Thor minifigure, I don't know if it would be worth it just to get the helmet. 
Uh, but if you don't have this Avengers generic style Thor, I'd go out and get this set. It's a pretty cool one. I believe it retires at the end of the year. Uh, and overall, it's a really good set. And I hope you enjoy this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.